Hi, and welcome everyone to another edition of Fay Fitness Office Workouts 101. Um, today is going to be an abdominal core day where I'll teach you three exercises that you can do in the office um, or in the comfort of your own home that are going to help you get in more shape and take more charge of your health. Hello everyone and happy holidays. Um, this is Faye here for another episode of Faye Fitness. And as you may have seen from the background, things are a little different today. Um, I actually have some time off of work for the upcoming Christmas holiday. So I thought I would just film a video from home. And today we're gonna do three abdominal exercises to help keep your core nice and tight and healthy. The first one will be some crunches, followed up by some hip raisers, and then lastly, we're gonna do some planking, or planks exercises, which you may know if you've done some yoga before. Um, and pardon any background noise, I have a bunny who is decided that now is the best time to eat some lunch. Um, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna do some crunches, and I'm gonna go walk you through the correct way to do it before we actually do the exercise, that way you don't hurt yourself. So, go ahead and lie on your back. And how most people do crunches is they can either put their feet up in the air like this or lean down on the ground. Totally fine and up to you. The other thing most people will do is they'll put their hands behind their neck, but be really careful with this. When you're doing a crunch, don't actually start tugging on your neck. That's gonna be really bad for the cervical spine, um, also known as your neck. <laughs> and just try to look up at the ceiling, but not actually have any tension again with the arms pulling the head forward. Um, the way I like to do crunches is I will just come up off the ground until my shoulder blades leave the floor and then that's good enough. So we'll just come up and down and up and down. And I'm not gonna go all the way down because as you can see, my head falls out of frame. So please pardon that, but just put your hands behind your head or you can leave them out in the open like this really personal preference. The only thing you want to avoid is grabbing your legs and using that to help you up. But again, if that's where you are and that helps you get more physical, go for it. So we're just gonna raise up and then down, up and then down, and do that say as many times as you can, ideally up to 15, and then call that good, move on to your next exercise, come back, do another 15 crunches. So next what we're gonna do so next what we're gonna do are some hip raises. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my head fall out of this, the frame for this um, because we do want nice spinal alignment and we're gonna kick our legs up. Ideally, you wanna have them completely straight with your feet um, flexed like this. Um, sorry, I can't get it all in one shot. That's rather unfortunate. Um, but you know, if your legs have to stay bent, that's totally fine too. Of, this is fitness all about where you are at this point um, in your journey. And so it doesn't have to be perfect right out of the gate. So for this one, we're just going to lift our hips up off the ground. And the goal is to keep it as straight as possible. But again, if your legs have to come a little forward like this, you know what? It's good enough for now. So we just wanna look st straight up at the ceiling. So we have a nice straight spine and then lift and down. And you don't have to like go super crazy with this and like try to lift your whole back and spine up off the ground. We just mainly want to get the hips off the ground. Just like that. Um, so again, I would do this 15 times. So go ahead, do 15 crunches, 15 leg links, or <laughs> leg lifts, pardon me. And then 15 um, seconds of plank for our planking. Ideally, you wanna work up to doing this a minute at a time, but again, if you're just starting out, five to 10 seconds might be your max, and that's totally fine. Um, there are also two variations of planks, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate that to you now. The first is gonna be a lot easier. So we wanna get in this nice push-up position and just hang out here. So you're gonna have your arms below your shoulders and shoulder width apart. And then you're gonna have a nice straight back, nice tight uh, core, and then your legs, I'm gonna move forward here so you can see, are just like they would be if you were doing a push-up. 
And so we just want to hang out in that position for as long as you can, ideally up to a minute. But again, if 15 seconds is all you can do, that's awesome. So the second variation of plank, some people find a little bit more difficult. So this one, we're actually going to be on our forearms. And I like to lace my hands together to create this nice triangle um, between shoulder width apart, obviously, but then they meet at the center. So again, we're in our nice push-up position. Abs are nice and tight. We're just going to hang out again, here for a bit. You can hang out here 15 seconds, a minute, whatever works for you. But the goal is to have your back as straight as humanly possible, um, your legs out behind you, like I said earlier, and just do this. Um, generally, I like to end with a plank. I find it just a little bit easier for me. So I'll do crunches, the leg lifts, and those are and my plank. three abdominal exercises. Um, please like and subscribe. And if you have any tips and tricks, please leave those down below. I'm always eager to learn from you guys and see what else might be out there. And until then, happy holidays, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.